everybody to a very revealing show, The Mass Singer. I know exactly who this is. God. What is up everyone? I am Chris Knight and you are watching The Real Review 3000 here with another episode of Unmasking the Masked Singer. Yes, an exciting two night premiere last week and we got rid of three masks and <clears throat> You know, looking back on it, I gotta say that I was kind of surprised about the puffer fish. Um, not as surprised about Mother Nature because some of the picks that the, that these people had weren't the greatest, but puffer fish was like really awesome. So let's start right there. Let's talk about the three people we voted off. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna skip over our predictions for group A until next week, since tomorrow we're gonna be talking about group B. So first off, <clears throat> voted off Octopus, Dwight Howard. Um, it really kind of obvious. I mean, this guy's so tall, you knew it was NBA. I mean, when he came up next to Nick Cannon, who isn't a short guy, I mean, he's like 6'1", 6'2", something like that. And he puts his shoulder or his elbow up on Nick Cannon's shoulder. That's crazy. I mean, that's, that's tall. I mean, that's like showing off. So you knew it had to be somebody in the NBA. I thought it was a really cool story with his mom and that his mom found out when they drove up. It's like, oh my God, I don't bless your soul or whatever. And that was kind of awesome. That was really cool to see or hear about. <clears throat> and then um, Mother Nature, Vivica A. Fox. It's, it was in the writings and it, it's, again, this goes back to, I think sometimes these people just show up for one or two episodes really quick, just to kind of get their name back out there. And especially with all the um, fluffy bunny disease stuff going on, it helps to get publicity running again for them and kind of kick them off maybe on a tour or let's say they're doing a new show or something's coming up. It, it, this really helps. <clears throat> and so Mother Nature Vivica A. Fox. The Fox was up very obvious with um, showing Wayne Brady. If it had shown Wayne Brady, you may have thought that it had something to do other with the connection otherwise, but it showed Wayne Brady. Basically, the Fox reference was really strong. <laughs> That's basically what I'm trying to say. Um, Pufferfish, Tony Braxton. Again, really surprised. She did some awesome stuff. I thought Fergie at first when I was listening to it because of the way she was just kind of sultry sounding and um, the fact that you know she was running out of singing to rapping so well. <laughs> but... I'm just surprised. Unbreak my heart. This is somebody that is legendary as far as a singer goes. But <clears throat> because of her issues, her health issues, I think that's probably what happened. She's like, I'll come on. I just want to be here for a few minutes and go about my way. So I think that's kind of why she got voted off. Now, <clears throat> we know we still have Baby, who I think I know who it is. Bull, Hamster, who I think I know who it is, and Skunk, which I might have some ideas. But let's go to Group B, guys. So Banana Split. Two people, much like the Snow Owls, and the teaser showed them toasting champagne glasses at an outdoor cafe and shooting money guns, um, one of which had a pony on the side. Their first clue was a trio of red candy apples. Not positive, no clue, no guesses at first. Um, cupcake. Cupcake took a selfie and posted it on an Instagram-esque app where they racked up the likes and their first clue was a compass that was pointed, if I remember right, due north. Um, so maybe somebody from Canada, maybe, not positive on that either. 
Um, Dalmatian. Dalmatian was practicing choreography in a studio with several dancers while wearing a jersey bearing the number one. Later, the first clue was revealed to be a flock of eagles. So I'm wondering something like maybe Randy Moss or somebody because, well, flock of eagles, eagles, <clears throat> and the number one, or Chad Ochocinco, Chad number one. Um, you know, I'm not positive, but Chad Johnson, uh, you know, somebody like that, um, you know, Terrell Owens, you know, somebody that's played on the Eagles or has something to do with football, football jersey, the number one, like I said, Chad Ocasinko, um, and, you know, Randy Moss, maybe somebody with a high opinion of themselves. Um, so those are my guesses, just kind of looking at that. Um, Mallard. Mallard made their entrance on a red carpet lined with screaming fans and stopped to give a feather to a particularly enthusiastic onlooker. And the first clue for the Mallard was a red telephone. <clears throat> now, the red telephone could be um, one of several references. Um, the red telephone is always reference to the president or, you know, for like the hotline to Russia and other things like that. So maybe somebody that's in politics, maybe somebody who um, has held an office or has worked around politics for a long time, or even possibly, if you think about it, the red phone also harkens back to Batman. So maybe somebody who's worked or played Batman, but it's not the, not, you know, the 60s Batman, but maybe just because it's a reference to Batman. Maybe, I'm not sure. Queen of Hearts, a photo of a horse. I've already said the Queen of Hearts sounds like Jewel. Um, one of the videos you find out there, she's singing in French. Jewel knows French. She's uh, dealt with horses all her life. Um, so it could be Jewel. Um, the beach ball, um, maybe, maybe show up this week. I'm not sure. Um, it's a wild card though. So uh, two bandages in the shape of an X letter. We've already talked about that, but I'm not positive if, you, if the beach wall is going to show up yet. So the ones I think they're going to be on tomorrow night are Banana Split, Cupcake, Dalmatian, Mallard, and Queen of Hearts. If a wild card shows up, it might be the beach ball. <clears throat> With that said, right offhand, if Jewel is the Queen of Hearts, I don't see them her going home uh, anytime. Um, the beach ball, depending on who it is, maybe that's a first go. Um, but Dalmatian, if it is somebody like Chad Ochocinco or Terrell Owens or Randy Moss, I'm not sure how they sing. So that could be a good guess. Um, and then the banana split being a duo, I'm assuming it's probably somebody who has singing experience. So I don't think they're going to be gone. Um, so my best guess right now mallard <clears throat> just the elaborate of the costume you know what i think uh, i don't think they go home i was wrong last year with caitlin jenner and the phoenix costume but what can we say so here's what we're gonna say i'm gonna go with probably um with the ones i think are gonna be there it's probably gonna be dalmatian that goes home no guess no real guess here on who it is but we'll find out um but i'll throw that out there some sort of a football player terrell owens uh, Randy Moss or Chad Ochocinco, maybe. Um, but let me know who you think might be going home. Let me know what you think of costumes so far this year, all that great stuff. Ask me any questions you want down in the comments below. But guys, I am Chris Knight. This has been the Real Review 3000, and I'm officially out of here. Please remember to like, subscribe, and never forget to ring that bell. Follow Chris Knight and The Real Review 3000 on these platforms. For email and Patreon, see the description box below. To reach The Ego, use the Twitter handle at The Ego 5150. We would like to thank the generous members of The Real Review 3000. Those members are Jesse Ritchie, JJ, aka Sithlord3827, Lady Tariel, Yvette, Abraham Morales, and Anzo of Bigger Ford Entertainment. Thank you for your support and donations that help us at The Real Review 3000 bring you, the viewer, better content. For more information on how to become a member, click the join button below.